is the good word YouTube. It is I, Traveling Card Puller, and we are back. This one is a unique one. Uh, I happen to go to my local Walmart because I haven't been on the road as much lately. And found the two of these Gems of the Game boxes. Uh, didn't really see a lot of people through YouTube uh, doing these. So I figured eh, I may as well pick them up. They're $20 each. Uh, you get one graded card, three factory cards, um, pretty much a graded card could be pretty much anything, but um, BCCG was typically what came out of it. So we're going to give these a try and probably, you know, strike out, but we're going to see. Um, they say 9-0 graded or better, or, or graded or better, so... You know, it's probably going to be somebody of lower ilk um, likelihood of getting somebody with a high, you know, very superstar-y type name will probably be very low. I don't have high expectations for this, but um, it was just one of those things. It was something different. Um, everything that I've seen on YouTube right now for this has been either this or the older stuff. Um, so... And, you know, you could get some decent sealed packs out of here. Um, pretty much almost from what I saw was guaranteed at least a, uh, a series one. I think I opened this maybe one other time before um, on an older video or something similar to this. But let's go ahead and take out the packs first. We'll leave the graded card in. Okay. Of both. And then we'll do a quick reveal of the graded card. All right. As we saw, there's foam in there. So, first graded card. It is a Beckett. Uh, BCGG. It is a White Sox. It is a Gavin Sheets. Base 2022. Uh, rookie card. Nine. It was what we anticipated. Something. It's probably worth maybe two, three dollars, maybe graded up into like the three or four. But. You know, this is this is why you get these. Is that sometimes you get you might get something something pretty good. This one we have a Matt Manning base, uh, mint ten rookie card. So a couple of rookie cards from 2022. Matt Manning and Gavin Sheets, not the two best players we would expect. I'll put one box back out there. But again, we're not really, you know, ex the expectations are very low for this product. So, but we, these are what we're looking for. So first off, I did see before that we were getting retail 2023 series one in both of them. So kind of figured that we were going to get that too. Uh, this is a 2023 Stars and Stripes. We have a uh, possibility for an autograph out of here, plus uh, Paul Skeens, um, Dylan Cruz, uh, those guys are, yeah, could be in there as well. We have our favorite MPB Chrome 2021. We'll go Yamamoto Hunting, as well as Kodai, uh, Kodai Senga, Imanagua, Imanaga, and all those others. Uh, we have 2023 Bowman First. Uh, and we have Topps Chrome with uh, the bonus cards, the X-Fractor cards from 2020. So that's an interesting one. We'll kind of leave these two for last, but we'll get through the, uh, the 2023 real quick for uh, Series 1. Because we know that we're probably not going to get anything tr truly valuable out of here. We've ripped a, I've ripped a lot of this um, when I first, you know, with my son before we first got in here. Uh, first doing this, so there's not a whole lot that we can expect out of 2021, um, but we'll take a look and see. Kybert, Luis, base Ron Soto, hey Bryce Harper, we got a Seiya Suzuki, Steven Matz, we have a Prado rookie, Contreras Crawford, ooh, purple all aces, not bad. What do we got on this one? We got a Steve Strasburg. I don't have him for my... Uh, I don't have him yet. I don't think I pulled him out of all the other All Aces I've gotten. I really do like the All Aces cards. I like the, I, the, the concept behind that. So we'll take that as a partial hit. Uh, it is the insert for the, uh, for the pack. So we got a rookie Riley Green. 
Danny Jimenez, a couple of other sideways cards. Hoskins, who no longer plays for us. Kenley Jansen and uh, Kikuchi. So, again, what we were expecting, not a whole lot, but we did catch a cool Aces card. Let's try this pack here. Let's see if we uh, catch some luck. Just looking to see. It felt a little thicker than normal, but I don't see anything thicker, so... All right, so we got a Byron Buxton, J Ram, who's doing excellent, Sonny Gray, Johan Duran, Kepler. We got a Randall Grichik, Luis Garcia again, Albert Alamora, Vladdy Jr. We have a Vado on the 35th, just a base Vado. Uh, the, the Nameless Wander, we won't even show his face on camera. Verdugo, Tyler O'Neill, who is lighting it up this year so far. Vaughn Grisham, Jorge Mateo, and Eli Morgan. Uh, Eli Morgan. So again, nothing special is out of those. Got a couple of insert cards. Let's see, we've opened a, pa a whole uh, blaster box of this. And we got actually, what, what we didn't realize at the time is that we got a lot of good names out of it. Um... Got a couple of signatures, and these this pack is Panini is doing their best Fort Knox impression, and not making it easy to get into. So here we go. We're gonna look for some of the big prospects because a lot of the big prospects have uh, played on the USA team: Mason uh, Brassfield, Cameron Tilly. Aiden Miller for my for my Phillies. That's a really good one. Yeah, we'll keep that down here. Stunner, what a name, Stunner Gonzalez. And I could already feel that there's a uh, relic card behind here. I could feel it on my finger here. It is a relic of Marshall Alberts, the Netherlands. Never heard of him. It's under 18 baseball World Cup jersey card. Uh, U.S. national or er, under 18 national team for the Netherlands. So it's pretty cool. Uh, closed game worn slash used material not guaranteed. Of course they can't guarantee it. All right, so we got a couple of decent cards there. I mean, it is a jersey card, but it is of a very lesser known prospect. I, again, I've never heard of Marshall Alberts. Um, so hopefully he becomes a good prospect and, you know, comes up through one of the drafts and got ourselves a good card there. All right. Well, looks like we've got an 86 on the 21 MPV. So throw that stuff in the garbage. All right. We're going to start ourselves up here with a, um, Hari, uh, Haru, uh, yeah, Haruhiro Hamaguchi. Okay, we have a Kazuma Okamoto. We have a Sosuke Genda. And our 86 is a Chrome 86 from the Ratukan Eagles, Mashahiro Tanaka. It's a really cool looking Chrome card. I got the uh, Prism Refractor on there. Cool. It's pretty cool for the 86. So again, nothing dramatic sitting in these packs. Again, we weren't expecting that at all. We'll keep the uh, refractor cards for last. Let's do this Bowman first edition cards. The uh, These were in the other um, boxes that I saw through uh, the YouTubes. So hopefully we get some good names out of here because they pulled some of the top prospects out of that one. So we have a Marcos Cabrera. Christian uh, Cerda, Brooks Lee, Oscar Colas, hey, Justin Crawford, he's a big guy for my Phillies, Justin Henry Malloy, we have a Khalil Watson, Braylon Bishop, Edwin Julian, Eduardo Julian, sorry, and Gavin Cross, and the Watson is a blue foil. Not numbered or anything, but pretty cool. Keep that down there as well. All right, final packs. Uh, X Fractor cards. Oops, 
but it is 2020, so never opened 2020 X Factor. So let's take a look. We have a Archie Bradley. We have a George Springer. We have a Michael Conforto. Looks different, but it's not just a refractor. Uh, we have a rookie of Broussard Gatterall and a Jose Urena as the final card. So there we go. George Springer, not his rookie card, but pretty, pretty good player. So, all right. There we go. That was the Gems of the Game Packs. So if you see them out there, if you think that's worth getting, you know, at least a graded card, and maybe some other random packs for 20 bucks, give it a shot. You know, you never know what you're going to get, but, you know, there's a chance for getting something good out of there. All right. There we go. All right. Quick video. Peace out. Thumbs up on the on the video. Give us a subscribe if you haven't. We'll get those giveaways going. We're getting close. We're, we're pushing closer to 350 to get the first one triggered. So give us a uh, give us a good heads up and we'll get that or, or subscribe and we'll get that moving. All right. See you later. Peace.